Hello students, welcome to yet another video of our case study series. This case study, I have tried to cover all the possible dimensions and also guide to you, through you, till the end as to how it should look like on the paper. Uh, if you further have doubts with this, do watch till end. If you have any doubts, you can reach out to me. The details are in the description. One more thing. If you wish to join, we are starting up with the new module, Ethics Module Batch. Uh, details of the batch are also given in the description. So, please continue with your video. Now, question is, there are there were around 1.5 million, means 15 lakh, right? Gun related deaths in USA between 1968 to 2070 right that's actually higher than number of soldiers killed in every US conflict since American war for independence jitne log pure ye such story ye koi case study nahi it's a true thing okay in the sense koi imagined case study nahi hai real matlab ekdam real hai as it is hai now factual hai now independence in 2020 alone more than 45,000 Americans died in the gun related deaths. Just imagine, 45,000 died in gun related uh, deaths. On the other hand, in India, we see negligible gun violence considering the size of population and diversity. Yes, we don't see gun violence so easily. There are hardly any mass shootings, though communal tensions are frequent occurrence. Communal tensions are all a frequent occurrence, but we don't see the uh, gun that is, you know, very uh, faster instrument to kill someone. So, we don't find that much in India. Now, this is what they have seen. What they have put in is, America mein ye hota hai. This is what happens in America, USA. That is, it's very high on gun related deaths. Whereas in India, it's not the case as compared to what America is. And now after this, the question will follow. What is the question? What do you think are the reasons for less gun violence in India? What do you think? India is Half of the answer they are only giving. How far is the strict gun control laws are responsible for this? So basically what they are saying is, वो खुद ही थोड़ा आंसर देने की कोशिश कर रहा है कि व्हाट इज इज दिस द रीजन दैट बिकॉज़ देयर आर गन लॉज दैट्स द रीजन सो देन गिव अ कंपैरेटिव एनालिसिस ऑफ इंडियन एंड अमेरिकन सोसाइटी फ्रॉम अ पर्सपेक्टिव ऑफ एथिक्स एंड वैल्यू दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो what they are trying to indicate that is maybe because some ethical perspective that Indians have towards life and other things, which also makes it makes it possible that we have less gun related deaths and things like that. You need to understand one thing. There was this is also coming from a current affairs thing where when US had publicly you know to just condemn India recently, hardly one month back. One, one and one and a half months back. Mm, they had said that, you know, we are keeping eye on the minority issues and communal issues and minority rights issues that are happening in India. We are keeping a keen eye that, you know, India should be careful. Okay, in next to, I think, second day or next to uh, third day, someone from our side, I think, uh, you know, Rajnath Singh himself commented that, we are keeping eye on gun related deaths in us and us should control it us should do you know us should do something about it so that was taken very uh, taken with a surprise by us that you know india is asserting itself like anything okay and many actually uh, kind of lauded this uh, stance that india had that us should mind their own business let us mind our own business we are democracy okay so, you have problems in your own country, so don't compare your country with us. 
so in that context it was in international relation context it is considered to be uh, kind of assertive thing anyway so that's why the question is regarding the control laws the debate in the usa oscillates between the right to be arms basically i have a right to have arms this and the safety of the society which one do you support and why so my right to have arms bear arms matlab mera gun rakhne ka jo adhikar hai uska hanan hota hai and other thing is if that is allowed when what happens problem happens that society ka safety mein issue hota hai this is what they have to discuss okay you understood the case study so again how would you write it this is the most important thing every case study means you will have to fill your four pages the four pages will be filled according to your structure and knowledge and content and perspectives and things like that but make sure that none of the important points that you actually should be writing are missed right now again what happens here this is more like a gs question so what do you do again the case so here briefly you mention about the case that is what is what and what is actually happening and things like that first you mention about that then comes what question part of question part a what does this see say what do you think are the reasons for gun violence less gun violence in india how far is it is the strict control laws a factor in this regard theek hai so basically reasons behind reasons behind less deaths in india okay so this is the another subheading under the name a okay then to some extent as a sub point what would you write how far strict gun control as the factor so strict gun control a factor strict gun control a factor then comes comparative analysis of indian and american society as a perspective of ethics so then comes b comparative analysis the bedding and straight away you can write this no issues at all american society and indian society this many points will be covered here right this is from ethics and this thing point of view they already given but then they will understand once you written then comes c what is the question regarding the gun control the debate in uh, oscillate between usa uh, between the right to be arms and the state which do you support so now comes right versus safety okay here you mention about that particular thing briefly and then as they have in this thing what do you support i support is another subheading and then you write points right now what would be the points first of all the case now case says basically the number and all that's okay what the case says is basically there have been huge or disproportionately high okay disproportionately high 
gun death in a developed and so called progressive nation of USA. Developed in the sense materially and otherwise, it's a superpower. So, superpower ke ghar mein hota hai, you have to mention somewhere this. Okay, because you have to, you are just summarizing it. Whereas in India, whereas in India, it is substantially less. Okay. Now, this is what the case is. Briefly, that's what is the issue in front of you. Now, what is the reason behind this less deaths in India? Number one, number two, number three. What all the reasons? First, okay, gun control, legal provisions. So, but do one thing. You don't write first gun control as the first point. You write issue of non-violence. And you here you write more three four points under the name of non-violence. Non-violence is not a subheading. Just write non-violence, underlining it, and then talk about Buddha and Vardhaman. Then talk about Gandhi. Talk about India's independence movement. Talk about overall India's cultural heritage. Even in the rural areas, when there is a utmost poverty, also people are still living with in some kind of harmony, some kind of system then comes what okay the uh, this non violence the perspective that we have okay then comes constitution of india okay especially talk about fundamental duties so duty may you know public property and environment degradation and others respect to others and freedom fighters and things like that so that spirit is taking forward this is also the reasons why it is not happening then comes okay collectivistic versus individualistic so still in india life is more collectivistic in nature not individualistic in nature so people are trying to or people are wishing to take other people along them so there is still not you know the what we can say the aspect that competition creates competition but rather the as the aspect that is there creates cooperation so still a lot of cooperation happens so there is no violence but then comes the most important thing after these three four points gun control okay certainly point is here yes Certainly, gun control has helped, legal provisions and effective implementation all have helped. Okay, because then what happens, you need to understand one thing, something which is legal for a long time has a different impact on the psyche of the society. So, it is just not legal. See, legality comes into picture only because people are ready to accept it and people will be ready to accept it only when the people's morality is kind of mature enough which is the case with india right then value system may there is a difference one is for example individualistic it is still collectivistic okay this is transactional approach towards life is compassionate and cooperation aspect okay then uh, very materialistic materialism here still religion has hold you need to understand one thing religion plays an important role here Okay, or society is still closely knit, closely knit, and overall violence that we already talk about, violence and non-violence debate is still applicable in India's case, you know. Now, right to uh, bear arms and safety, 
So the argument here is here also what you can do is you can write like this right to bear and safety. Okay. Uh, personal safety is the supporting point here. Okay. Then criminal attacks. Okay. A defense purpose. But I support Indian model obviously because what happens is we have tried we support indian model that we have to have less than less this thing because like for example as a uh, world also we are trying for less and more and more disarmament why disarmament because disarmament means there is a still chances of agreement there is still chances of collaboration there is still chances of social contract so this shows that there is still chances and still possibility of social contract. So it is that's how ethics works, right? So more ethicality it will bring in. Okay, more trust on judicial system because sometimes sometimes people use gun so that they want to give punishment themselves, they want to do deliver justice themselves here don't take any uh, with respect to the support don't take any stand on with respect to american because ethics paper there is no point in supporting uh, presence of gun or allowance of guns with the people no point in supporting that you also please don't support that state of usa this is what i support indian thing is good and that's how we have to go and in fact we should do more and more awareness that individuals in normal society should not be resorting to violence at all. Violence is the only prerogative of the state that to with the proper due procedure and the court uh, kind of uh, having uh, overarching observation and monitoring on it. Okay. And especially not within, poss if possible, to the extent possible, arms should not be used within the premises of the society or internally basically. Yes. For enemy, for uh, wars, for soldiers, for terrorists, that arms can be used. So, the stricter gun control is a good thing in India. And one should not, uh, you know, as an Indian, we want more curbs rather on the allowing guns to go to the every each and every hand. So, the basic, re basic reason you, you think, now whatever situation we have, do we have any pressing reason to allow more and more guns to more and more people? In fact, we should be giving less and less guns now. Okay, unless you are a police officer and that too licensed gun, who you might be anybody, but you still not be uh, allowed to give any, uh, carry any gun. Okay, and there will be, there should be stricter control on or local manufacturing, illegal manufacturing of the gun. That also should be uh, kind of uh, discouraged. For that, there should be proper employment generation. So, automatically, youth going for these kind of jobs. Like in Mirzapur, or in that type of movies, people will discouraged. Because that is also dangerous in itself. And main thing is, the lobby, this is arm production lobby, which is very, very strong in America. They are very powerful. They have a lot of money. So, what they do is, they bribe the politicians and uh, ask the politicians to have this this policy or that policy. Okay, they use that money for uh, their kind of image laundering also. That as if you know everything is fine with guns. That should be stopped. Okay, so that's all for this case. Any question if you have, please ask.